A rally on Capitol Hill, immigrants putting pressure on lawmakers to pass legislation and protect them. Good evening. This is CTV News for Wednesday, November 15th. I am Denise Douglas. And I'm Byron Scott. We'll have the details on that story shortly. But first, four people, including two Prince George's firefighters, injured today at a blaze in Temple Hills. It happened this afternoon at this home at the, on the 5200 block of Lorraine Drive. Investigators say two people inside the home were hurt and taken to a local hospital. They are listed, investigators say, in critical condition. They extinguished fire pretty quickly and soon thereafter located two occupants. Uh, they were both transported to an area hospital, both listed in extremely critical condition. Some neighbors tried to rescue the people inside the house. Very commendable effort. Uh, they initially tried to go in through the front of the house, were driven back by the intense heat and smoke. They went around to the rear of the house, uh, did the same, and uh, driven back again by the heat and smoke. Uh, one of the uh, the males that were attempting entry into the house had his wife with him. She called 911 and provided some very detailed information to the 911 call takers about the location of the possible trapped occupants. 911 call takers to dispatchers and dispatchers relayed that information to our firefighters. And the injured firefighters were treated and released. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. While well, dozens of concerned immigrants rallying on Capitol Hill today, they want to make their voices heard and at a DACA issue. You may recall that the Trump administration ended the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program just over two months ago. The group of immigrants today want a new version of the measure passed without provisions that would negatively affect the immigration system. President Trump's cruel decision to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program has left the lives of nearly 800,000 dreamers in limbo. This includes the over 130,000 Asian Pacific Islander dreamers across the nation who are forced to live with increasing uncertainty and fear. Dreamers play a vital role in our economy and ending DACA would cost our country nearly half a trillion dollars over 10 years. Let me repeat that nearly $500 billion over 10 years. DACA is set to expire in September 2018, and I cannot renew anymore because of the cutoff deadline. Every day, Congress is not acting on a solution for DREAMers. 122 bright, documented individuals are losing protection. And by January 2018 until March 2019, more than 50,000 individuals will lose their DACA protection each month. They are calling on lawmakers to pass the Clean Dream Act by December 8th. Meanwhile, the Vera Institute has launched an initiative that will provide funding for legal services to immigrants facing deportation. Prince George's is one of 11 jurisdictions that will receive that service. New information tonight on a case that we've been following. Before Deontay Carey was arrested on sex abuse charges, school officials ignored warning signs about his contacts with children. This is one of many charges made in a lawsuit filed against the staff at Judge Sylvania Wood School, according to the Washington Post. Even when a student asked officials to check Caraway's cell phone, the request was ignored. The 24-year-old is now serving a 75-year sentence in federal prison on numerous charges affecting children as young as nine. Pepco teams up with other electric and natural gas utility companies with one goal in mind, to protect customers from scammers. Today marks Utilities United Against Scams Day, and during the week-long campaign, the agency wants residents to not get trapped by solicitors claiming to be from the company. Pepco's region president, Donna Cooper, says if you feel you are being scammed, hang up the phone and call police, then report them to the utility company that I was mentioning is unsolicited. All of a sudden you're being called and contacted to pay a bill immediately or you will be disconnected. A customer needs to know their actual status. Number two, asking you to purchase a debit card. Number three, they'll ask you for the receipt number for that debit card. Why do you feel that so many customers fall victim of scams? You know, it's an interesting piece. It's 
When I say that, there is an element of emotion attached to it. With the electric utility, it could be a business person. You're having a large lunch or it's your dinner piece coming up and they're saying immediately, so it's emotional. You're being disconnected. So that customer is just immediately taking action because they don't want to be disconnected, not really processing and really thinking it through. If you feel like you were scammed or a victim of a scam, you can contact Pepco and the phone number to dial is 202-833-7500. And Prince George's Sheriff Melvin High receives, or releases I should say, a strongly worded statement about the availability of automatic weapons. His comments come in the aftermath of the Las Vegas and Sutherland Farms mass shootings. High says, quote, it's time we were a thorn in the side of elected officials. Automatic weapons, equipment that makes a weapon automatic, and magazines with dozens of bullet rounds are weapons of war. They must not get into the hands of criminals, he says, and the mentally unbalanced. High is also calling for more thorough background checks. A man was shot multiple times this morning. It happened during rush hour. Police say the male victim was driving in the area of 42nd and East Capitol Street when the shooting began. The victim drove off and was found by authorities in the area of Kenilworth and Eastern Avenues just over the Prince George's line. He's expected to survive the search for two suspects continues.